What's up, you guys? This is your girl, Miss Fancy, and I'm coming to you with another video. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for those who have been checking up on me. Your girl is doing well. I just need some time, some space. I'm trying to get myself together, trying to get myself in order. If you are not following me on social media, you should. All the links are down below. And if you're not following me on my Instagram, then, like, what are you doing? What, like, what's good? What's tea? Oh, with my Instagram across the screen. I'm always on Instagram. I'm always, always posting, you know, something on there always. Something to make you laugh. Something to, you know, I don't know, make you cry. Oh, because you know some things I post y'all just be y'all be telling me how you feel about it and I appreciate your thoughts I do I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it I just want to show you how you can bounce back from your hair weaves or whatever from your hair your wig so let me do this right quick let me uh, plug up my flat iron and I will be right back all right guys so I'm back and I have just turned on my flat irons that way uh, when I go ahead and put my wig on um they would just they would be hot or whatever so yeah um I've already y'all i'm making a mess i just got out the shower not too long ago so that's why i have this on and i'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig cap so i have my cleo braids on you know i'm talking about cleo from set it off okay i do my own braids or whatever they're not neat or whatever i just do what i can because i'm not gonna pay nobody else to do my you know set it off braids period so um i'm gonna go ahead and put my favorite wig cap on first and there we go and i did my makeup i didn't uh, record this makeup look only because i was just playing honestly i was just playing around um in my um new palette let me show you the palette that i purchased for my birthday i haven't bought myself a palette in a while y'all y'all know I, I don't know if y'all noticed i love morphe i love all their products i love their eyeshadow palettes they're amazing this is the 3503 fierce by nature palette and this is gonna be so litty uh, you can basically wear this year round because of the colors, but look at this y'all. Y'all can't tell me these colors are not fire. Gorgeous palette. I couldn't say no to this. This was $23. We are discussing this wig. This wig, I will link it down below where I got it from. That way y'all would know. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna see how far this wig goes because today I am going to be using this wig glue. Isha Luxury Wig Fashion Absolute Lace. Y'all see? lace wig bun wig glue in this water resistant i don't know if you ever tried this this is my second time trying this um i didn't do too well the first time only because i didn't take my time but anytime you get those type of glues you want to take your time putting them on because if not sis it would just be messy so that's why i'm showing y'all what i'm showing y'all today in this video and my allergies are jacked up i have yearly allergies so please excuse me so yeah, I'm going to put this on to see how far it comes up um, in the front of my big old forehead. <laughs> and I'm going to take, um, you could take like, I'm just going to take this brow pencil. But if you have like a black liner pencil or a white liner pencil, that would be better that way you're not using up your products. I couldn't find one in my room, surprisingly, but whatever. So yeah, I just basically want to see... Make sure it matches on each side. Um, you know, make sure my, my ears are covered accordingly. Not on my ears, but you know, around my ears, if that makes sense. So, that's how it looks. I want to make sure when I glue it down, I'm not gluing it too far back and I'm not gluing it too far up. So, that's what the pencil is going to be for. And while I'm talking, let me go look one more place. So, I found me a pencil, a black pencil. Um, I like the way my wig fits and yeah, it's perfect. It's around my ear the right way. So yeah, I'm just going to basically, uh, put like a little tiny dot where I want the glue to go. So. take the back of a brush like this right here and this is how I am going to apply my glue with the back of the stick so yeah I need my clips you will need a couple of these um, clips so you can move your hair out the way so it won't be in your face or anything or in the way of the glue because the last thing that you want to do is have glue just all over the place like y'all it's so messy so 
take my advice <laughs> please because it will be a hot mess if you don't now i did have to wash and shampoo like shampoo and condition this wig last night only because it's been a while and i can tell with the texture because the when i had conditioned it it just didn't look right the texture of the hair didn't look right so based off of that i just you know i knew it was time to actually wash my hair so i actually shampooed and conditioned it last night and i could tell it's actually clean this time so i'm really happy about that all right so i'm just going to take this glue and i'm going to apply it where you see all of the little you see the little dots oh that one is real dark um but yeah i'm just going to put dots I don't want to mess up my baby hairs. And be careful when you're pouring it out because you don't want it to come out real fast. This little thing was at the beauty supply store. Ooh, see? I just made a mess. But yeah, it was at the beauty supply store. For $4.99. Hold it upside down. I think that would be the best way to apply this glue. And this, this glue is really tacky, so that's what I'm saying. You got to take your time when you're applying this. Because if not, it will be a mess. And it dries super, super duper quick. So, like I said, I'm going to take the back of the stick and just smear that on out. And if it gets in your hair, that's fine. Um, it should be easy to wash off. But you see, it dries super quick. So, that time you wipe it on the back of your stick, honey, you, you ready to apply her. Some people take their blow dryer and blow it. I mean, I'll try that next time. It didn't work for me. But listen, you do what works for you, honey. You want it to be clear, though, before you put your wig on. So, at least let it clear up before you put your wig on. So, I like mine to be air dry, but you know, some people be in a rush. And you'll feel the difference. Once you do it so many times, you'll feel the difference. I don't mind the smearness of the, the black liner because the wig is gonna cover it up and it's not gonna do any harm to my hair. So I hope you guys been doing well. I do miss you guys. And I love it when y'all check up on me. I love it when y'all, you know, come on my Instagram and comment under my pictures and stuff. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for your concerns and everything else. Today is Saturday too, by the way. Okay. So it is pretty much dried. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig. Take your time when you're doing it too. Cause honey, once you put it on, this thing is not gonna move. I promise you. And you need a brush. Let me go get my brush. Okay. So now I'm gonna do this side. This was perfection, y'all. When I tell you it is stuck to my head, whoo, baby. So if you want some security on your wig, like some good glue, honey, this right here. It's the best thing ever. Now, what I like to do is I like to take my brush. Doesn't matter how you do it because you're going to end up, whatever you decide to do as far as curling a flat iron. Y'all know I like flat ironing my hair. But I just like to brush it back and I hold the front of it just to make sure it's down. Because... Hopefully y'all can see me. I'm sorry if y'all can't see me. There's a little tiny piece over here that I need to glue down that's moving. I see. I didn't get to catch, so I'm just going to take this glue. And it's right here, if you can see it. And I'm going to do this. Like I said, you want to be careful when you're adding this because if it get on your finger, it's just messy. So I put that on there. I'm holding it down on my hand. 
But like I said, take your time. I think that's down. Yeah, my fingers are sticky, so I gotta go wash my hands right quick, y'all. But it's stuck, y'all. This hair ain't moving. That quick. That's how quick this stuff is. So let me go wash my hands right quick, you guys, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I had to get me some coffee, too, because I think it's like 11 o'clock or after 11. So, And I haven't had any coffee today. It is perfect. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is uh, fix these baby hairs, honey, because this wig is... Y'all still got some sticky stuff on my fingers, and it's bothering me. I'm trying a different mousse. I'm trying this Lotta Body. I think I had tried this one time before, and I didn't like it. But I forgot what it was for. I don't think it was for my actual wig. So, I'm going to give this another try. Okay. All right. So, that's my mousse. And I haven't really been, like, doing too much on my baby hairs lately. Because, you know, I like a more natural, just neutral, natural look. So, and it depends on how I'm going to do my part, too. So, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. And it helps loosen up the hair. Like, if it's, if your hair is a little hard at the ends or something, it'll help loosen that up a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm using a toothbrush, too. An old, dirty toothbrush. Well, it's not dirty, but a toothbrush that I didn't use anymore. So you don't have to go and get you a brand new toothbrush or anything like that. Or one of those little edge control brushes. You don't need that. Okay. I just want like a simple look. They look crazy right now, y'all, but I don't know which way I'm going to do my part. So let me get my comb. When I'm parting my hair for my um, wigs, I like to use this pointy type of comb because it really gets in the crevices of your hair and stuff better than a regular comb. Let me show you the regular comb. You want this instead of this, if that makes sense. It works a lot better, trust me. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to do it this side. Because I always do the other side, I believe. And I don't want a perfect type of part, so it does not have to be perfect. I just want something flawless, you know, and cute. So I'm doing like a, not a straight part. I'm doing like a, kind of like a little Nike sign part a little bit. <laughs> or a curve part, let's say that. Let's say a curve part. So, there we go. So there's my part. I hope y'all can see it. I have a new ring light too, by the way. It's like a little, tiny, a small one until I can invest in a bigger one. So if it's not bright enough, y'all let me know. I'm doing what I can do for now, honey. I think I paid like 16 bucks for it on Amazon. If you're interested in it, let me know and I'll put it in the description bar in case you're trying to start yourself a YouTube channel or something like that. Okay, so I'm feeling my part. Like I said, it's not, you know, doing too much. And this is the oil that I love. A Sleek and Shine Instant Sleek uh, Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment. I think that was a lot. It's by Garnier Fructis. This is my favorite. It, it's not too oily. And all you need is a little bit. Like that much. And I just do my hands like this. And I rake it through my entire hair. Focus on them ends. So really, y'all, if I wanted to, I can just go on like this. And I'm going to get my um, baby hairs again, y'all. So it's all good if they came up. I'm going to get my um, do-ragging time down after I finish. Okay. So really, like I said, if I wanted to leave, I could. That's how bomb this wig is, y'all. You wash it. Like, I literally wash my hair. I let it air dry. It don't take long to air dry at all. I washed it last night. I think it was like around 8 or 9 o'clock. 
And so it was air drying from like 10 until like 8 o'clock this morning and it was done. So you don't have to blow dry it because blow drying will damage your hair or whatever. You don't want your hair damaged. You want these babies to last as long as they can, honey. So this is what it looks like. Oh, this is a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Should I wear my hair like this? Y'all don't feel like, like, I might just go like this. They ain't gonna care. You know what? I am not going to flat out my hair. I think it looks good just like this. I'm gonna wear it like this. Period. Now what I am gonna do, just to make sure this hair does not like have flyaways and stuff, I'm gonna take some of this mousse, just a little bit, and I'm gonna put it where that part is, and I'm gonna comb it. And then I'm a yeah, I'm not gonna flat iron this because I got a feeling I'm gonna be sweating and stuff. Y'all, this coffee is so bomb. Oh, this is a thumbnail. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I got so many thumbnails. Just you know this hair bomb when you don't even need to flat iron it. So what I've been doing lately. Ooh. With my baby hairs, if I don't mousse it, like the mousse don't last, I'm going to be using this Gorilla Slot, Gorilla Slot, Gorilla Snot Gel. You just need a little bit because a little, a little will go a long ways if that makes sense. And I'm going to put some on these baby hairs, baby. And then I'm going to come back because I want y'all to see how I look. Cause I'm gonna put some um I need some mascara on. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have put my mascara on. Oh, I forgot to put my powder on. I'll just put that on camera while I have y'all. I got my lip gloss on with my lip liner. This is my favorite to go look, y'all. If y'all don't know this, again, you should be following me on Instagram. You would know these things. I'm just saying. <laughs> this coffee has definitely waking me up. So yeah, let me get my brush. y'all if y'all don't drink coffee well what is like my partner disappeared this is how bomb this hair is you know you got some bomb hair when you don't have to curl it or flat iron it unless you know you're going for that look of course but and i have had this wig i don't know how many months and i'm not paid to say this at all so this is like literally my honest opinion So I got my part back. You know, I just want a neutral, natural look. You know. I'm still trying to figure out the baby hairs, y'all. Um, I got my new wig that a company has sent me that I've showed y'all already. I'll link that down below too. But um, I'm going to tweak that one, of course, to my liking. I was going to do it in this video, but... I knew that's gonna take a little time, so y'all. When I tell you this hair ain't moving, it is not moving at all, and that's what I like. So I can just plop this on and go, baby. And it looked like I done took you know a little minute to get her like this, and I didn't do anything. Clearly, y'all see in this video, <laughs> like I didn't do anything hardly at all, but glue this hair down. Fix my little baby hairs a little bit without even trying, and that's it. So this is a simple wig tutorial look, whatever y'all want to call it. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this, but I do love that glue. You just gotta know how to use it without making a mess like me. <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so so much for watching, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye, loves.